The UK's Littoral Response Group undertaking joint training in Montenegro. Local military personnel operating in the mountains of Pievia alongside 4-5 Commando Royal Marines, Commando Logistic Regiment and Commando Helicopter Force. Montenegro is one of the youngest members of NATO and its armed forces is made up of around 12,000 people. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, preserving regional stability and security is more vital than ever. We're here to demonstrate the alliance cohesion, but to build relationships, bilateral relationships, but within the NATO framework with Montenegro. The Balkans um, is a really important region for European security. And with what's going on in Eastern Europe at the moment, the strength of NATO and the cohesion between its alliance partners is incredibly important. Zulu Strike Company from 4-5 Commando and the Landing Forces carried out integration training with the Montenegrins. Survival and evasion techniques, anti-armour and close quarter battle tactics, and then for a series of tactical scenarios, insertions from helicopters deep into the mountains, tracking enemy forces and a series of ambushes practised during the day and at night. It's a lot of activities, especially during the night, and uh, I feel really excited and uh, very uh, that I had a so good training and that we teach a lot during these couple of days, and I hope so that also the British forces learn from us. It was also a chance for commandos to enhance their knowledge and ability in the field, moving across unknown wilderness where bears and wolves roam, testing endurance and developing small team tactics to identify and defeat adversaries. Getting out and experiencing different parts of the world is, is such, so good for tactical and force development. Here in the mountains, it oscillates between being uh, hot and cold. It's really testing good tactical terrain to uh, do some tough soldiering. And This training exercise falls under the Operation Achillean deployment for the Royal Navy's Task Group Littoral Response Group North, led by HMS Albion. The ship and its crew hosted the Prime Minister of Montenegro, who reiterated that for long-term stability in the Balkans, especially following Russia's aggression against Ukraine, a greater presence of Western allies, including the UK, is crucial. In the name of the government, that uh, just say, sending one uh, common message, and that common message is that uh, our partnership between two countries is very strong. This is also the big opportunity for our army to uh, just uh, make common exercises with, with, with the British to show that in NATO we are together and we will be ready for every challenge for the, for, for the future. Commandos have not just been operating in the mountains here in Montenegro. Royal Marines from 4-2 Commando have been demonstrating their boarding techniques to local forces too. The Royal Marines spent three weeks teaching members of the Montenegrin Navy how to board a vessel and close quarter battle tactics so they can work in its confined spaces. Using a scenario of a suspected smuggler found in Montenegrin waters, the newly gained skills were put to the test. After verifying the vessel's documents and searching it, the boarding team can make sure the tug ship is safe and secure. And now there's a casualty on board that needs treatment, putting more of their training under the spotlight. The guys have worked really hard. Some of it's quite new to them, the, the CQB elements, because uh, CQB is to close quarter battle, which is when we move into clearing vessels. Um, but yeah, the guys have worked, worked really well. The biggest difference has been the kit and equipment, but again, we've, we've worked, uh, worked together really well. And that ultimately is the goal of this training by land, sea and air in Montenegro, understanding each other's military procedures and deepening bilateral relations. Recently, the UK helped eliminate harmful consequences of a cyber attack on the nation. The NATO allies continue to emphasize the commitment to fight against organized crime, transnational smuggling, and in the context of the ongoing war in Ukraine, the growing security challenges that face the Balkans. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Montenegro.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.